We begin this half hour with a new breed of robots. In Japan, there are robots modeled after cute dogs, baby seals, and of course, humans. But a promising new area of robotics was inspired by one of the world's least like creatures. Lucy Kraft visited a lab in Tokyo and has this report. Fear them or loathe them. Snakes are made for movement. Armless and legless, with a ribbon for a body, snakes can sidewind, crawl, and undulate across the most forbidding terrain. This versatility has inspired robots that act like serpents. Robot designer Motoyasu Tanaka of Tokyo's University of Electrocommunication admits he's charmed by snakes. Tanaka said, snakes have long, thin bodies that are perfect for getting in and out of tight spaces. Their length allows them to climb over high obstacles. Weighing about 20 pounds, with cameras in its head and tail, this snake bot has joints, motors and sensors so it can climb stairs with ease slink over unsteady piles of debris and slither through pipes. After floods hit Western Japan in 2018, Tanaka's snake bot wriggled into a ruined house, allowing the homeowner to search for his belongings remotely. Tanaka said future snake bots will search for victims. He said, since the snake bot's weight is distributed across its body, it can move through environments without disturbing them. Snake bots may become a household accessory. If you've ever wondered what it's like to be wrapped in the coils of a boa constrictor, well, introducing the snake robot that gives a massage. Perhaps not the best way to relax. But as scientists try to recreate the reptile's smoothest moves, they're also dreaming up tricks never seen in the wild. Poised like a cobra and fitted with a grabber tool, the snake bot can turn off a water valve or open a drawer. Hibiwa. Tanaka said real snakes have just one head, but a snake bot could open a door with its mouth, hold it open, and enter the room tail first. Tanaka said his snake robot will be deployed as early as this year to inspect damage at the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant, ushering in a future where snakes won't just creep us out, they'll come to our rescue. For CBS Saturday Morning, Lucy Kraft, Tokyo.